Watch us on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast and support us on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by. The scene that illustrates the eighth division of the Tuat, which is passed through by the sun god during the eighth hour of the night, is introduced by four lines of text which read, The majesty of this great god taketh up its place in the circles of the hidden gods who are on their sand, and he addresseth to them words in his boat whilst the gods tow him along through this city by means of the magical powers of the serpent Mehen. The name of the gate of this city is Aha and Ertnef. The name of this city is Tebet Neteru S. The name of the hour of the night, which guideth this great god is Netusha. The circles of this division are thus described. The hidden circles of Amon, which are passed through by the great god, his boat being towed along by the gods who dwell in the Tuat, let them be made according to the figures, which are depicted, on the north of the hidden palace in the Tuat. Whosoever knoweth them by their names shall be the possessor of swathings upon earth, and he shall not be repulsed at the hidden gates, and he shall have offerings in very great abundance regularly and perpetually. In the, in the middle register are 1. The boat of the sun, in which the god stands under a canopy formed by the body of the serpent Mehen, being towed along by nine gods. His passage is thus described, This god makes his way into this city, being towed along by the gods of the Tuat, in his hidden form of Mehen. This god sendeth forth a cry to the regions of every circle of this city, and also to the gods who are therein, and it is the voice of them which this god heareth after he hath sent forth a cry to them. The figures of their bodies remain always with their dead bodies, which are under their sand, and their gates open to the voice of this god each day, and then they hide themselves after he hath passed by them. Their work in the Tuat is to tow Ra along over the ways of this city, and they rise up after they have towed him along into this hall, and they say unto him, O thou god, come thou to thine hidden image, O our god, and to all the sepulchres of Kentiamenti, unite thyself strongly to it and mayest thou be entreated to lighten the darkness of those who are on their sands. We beseech thee to come and to unite thyself, O Ra, to those who tow thee along. The eight gods who tow along the boat of Ra are thus described. These are the gods of the Tuat who tow alone, Ra in the place where the gods have their sepulchres, Tebet Neder is set, and he is, acclaimed, by those who are in this city. The images secret of Tathanan, of Horus, and of, the gods are with them. 2. Nine large objects somewhat in the form of the hieroglyphic Shems, which has the meaning of follower or servant. Unlike this sign, however, each of the nine objects is provided with a huge knife, and from the curved end of each is suspended a human head. M. Maspero is undoubtedly correct in describing these as the servants of the god. The names of the nine servants are 1. Hetepta 2. Amen 3. Sashida Bayu 4. Sikin Kaibit 5. Neb E. Archer 6. Menu 7. Mathanu 8. Metri 9. Perimu Of these gods it is said, Those who are in this picture are those who are on the path along which this god is towed, and they have their swathings before them in the form in which the god himself had them. This our great god cries out unto those who have their life in them, in, their, heads in their forms, and this god cries out to them by their names. Their work is to seize the enemies of Ra everywhere throughout this city, 
and then to make their heads to pass under their swords after this god hath passed them by. 3. A ram, having the solar disk between his horns, and the symbol of linen bandages in front of him, he is an image of Taphanan, of whom he is the first form. 4. A ram, having the crown of the south between his horns, and the symbol of linen bandages in front of him, he is an image of Taphanan, of whom he is the second form. 5. A ram, having the crown of the north between his horns, and the symbol of linen bandages in front of him, he is an image of Taphanan, of whom he is the third form. 6. A ram, having the solar disk, and a pair of plumes above his horns, and the symbol of linen bandages in front of him, he is an image of Taphanan, of whom he is the fourth form. The text which refers to these reads, Those who are in this picture in the Tuat, with their swathings of linen in front of them, in the form in which the God himself had them, are they to whom he cries out after he hath come to the place where they are. And they on their part cry out to this God with their voices which are joyful but hidden, and this God sings a song of joy at their voices. After this great God hath passed by them, and when the darkness of night hath covered them over, they receive the diadems of Ra, and the soul of Taphanan unites itself to the earth. In the upper register are five circles of the Tuat, and a door, which may be thus described. 1. This circle, which is called Sashida, is entered through a door with the name of Tezneb Tirer. And in it are seated. 1. The image of Tem, wearing the white crown. 2. The image of Kepra. 3. The image of Shu. Each of these is seated upon an instrument for weaving. The text reads, those who are in this picture are, seated, on their instruments for weaving, after the manner, of Horus, the heir, the youthful one. This god cries out to their souls after he hath entered into this city of the gods who are on their sand, and there are heard the voices of, those who are, shut in this circle which are like, the hum, of many bees of honey, when their souls cry out to Ra, the name of this circle is Sashida. 2. This circle, which is called to it, is entered through a door with the name of Tezaha Tafanan, and in it are seated. 1. The image of Tefnet. 2. The image of Seb. 3. The image of Nut. Each of these is seated upon an instrument for weaving. The text reads, those who are in this picture are, seated, upon their instruments for weaving, which are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which Horus made. This god cries out to their souls in whatsoever regions they are, and there are heard the voices of, those who are, shut in this circle which are like the sound of the swathed ones, when, their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is to it. 3. This circle, which is called as Nedaru, is entered through a door with the name of Tezakambayu, and in it are seated. 1. The image of Osiris. 2. The image of Isis. 3. The image of Horus, hawk-headed. Each of these is seated as before. The text reads, who are in this pic, upon their instruments for weaving, which are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which horns made. This god cries out to their souls in whatsoever regions they are, and there is heard the sound of the voices of, those who are, shut in this circle, which is like unto the sound of men who lament, when their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is as Nedaru. Nedaru. 4. This circle, which is called a Kibi, is entered through a door with the name of Tez Sheda the Hen Nedaru, and in it are seated. 1. The image of Kaimentet, 
bullheaded. Two, the image of Bonnetaru, ram headed. Three, the image of Rimnetaru, ram headed. Each of these is seated as before. The text reads, those who are in this picture are, seated, upon their instruments for weaving, which are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which horns made. This god cries out to their souls in whatsoever regions they are, and there is heard the sound of the voices of those who are shut in this circle, which is like unto the sounds of bulls, and of other male animals when their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Akibi. 5. This circle, which is called Netsi Nyanifu, is entered through a door having the name of Tens Sma Kikyu, and in it are seated. 1. The image of Katri, Iknuman headed. 2. The image of Afi, animal headed. 3. The image of Ari Anb Phi, Sinocephalus headed. Each of these gods is seated as before. The text reads, those who are in this picture are, seated, upon their instruments for weaving, which are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which Horus made. This god cries out to their souls in whatsoever regions they are, and there is heard the sound of the voices of those who are shut of this circle which is like unto the sound of those who make supplication through terror when their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Netsi Nyanifu. 6. An open door, called Tez Kaibatatuashu, beyond which is a goddess. In the lower register are also five circles, and an open door, which may be thus described. 1. This circle which is called Hedipit Nebes, is entered through a door having the name of Tetsem Ermenta in it are. 1. A goddess standing upright, called Amum. 2. The serpent Mehenta. 3. Three arrows lying on the top of these are the ar arrows of Ra. 4. A rain-headed god, seated on, instruments for weaving, his name is Nebri Kit. The text reads, Those who are in this picture are, seated, upon their instruments for weaving, which are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which Horus, the heir, the young, God, made. This great God cries out to their souls, after he hath entered into this city of the gods who are upon their sand. And when this god cries out to them in the two eternity there is heard the sound of those who are shut in this circle, which is like unto the voices of male cats, when they cry out, and their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Hedipit Nebes. 2. This circle, which is called Hitmet Kimiu, is entered through a door having the name Tez Ra Keftiu F in it are. 1. Nut bearded and man-headed. 2. Ta, bearded and man-headed. 3. Sebek Ra, crocodile-headed. The text reads, Those who are in this picture are, seated, upon their instruments for weaving, which are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which Horus made. This god cries out to their souls, in whatsoever regions they are in the two eternity, and there is heard the sound of the voices of those who are shut in this circle, which is like unto the sound of the confused murmur of the living when their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Hedinet Kimio. 3. This circle, which is called Hapsimu S, is entered through a door having the name of Tez Sikamaru, in it are four mummied gods, each with an instrument for weaving in front of him, and their names are 1. Hebset 2. Senket 3. Tebet 4. Temtet The te text reads, those who are in this picture have their instruments for weaving before them, 
and they are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which Horus made. This god cries out to their souls, in whatsoever regions they are in the two eternity, and there is heard the sound of the voices of those who are shut in this circle, which is like unto the sound of the voices of those who go down to the battlefield of Nu when their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Hap Simu S. 4. This circle, which is called Sahert by each with an instrument for weaving in front of him, and their names are 1. Keku 2. Menhi 3. Cherku 4. Kebsta The text reads, those who are in this picture have their instruments of weaving before them, and they are set firmly on their sand, according to the mystery which horns made. This god cries out to their souls in whatsoever regions they are in the two eternity, and there is heard the sound of voices of those who are shut in this circle, which is like unto the sound of the cry of the divine hawk of horns when their souls cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is Sahert Bayu S. 5. This circle, which is called A.A.T. Setaka, is entered through a door having the name of Tezku. In it are four Urii, each of which rests upon its instrument for weaving, and their names are 1. Eret Ank 2. Ririt Ank 3. Nezert Anket 4. Septad Ankh. The text reads, Those who are in this picture are, seated, on their instruments of weaving, and they are set firmly on their sand. This god cries out to them in whatsoever regions they are, and they shed light by means of their radiance, which cometh, from the depth of their mouths, but they do not come forth from their circle, and there is heard the sound of the voices of those who are shut in this circle, which is like unto the twittering of the whole of the birds of a nest of water fowl when they cry out to Ra. The name of this circle is A.A.T. Sedaka. 6. A door called Tez Amum M.I.T. M. Shada F. Beyond it is a figure of the god Nu, who appears to be over the chamber of destruction. Watch us on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast and support us on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.